Hey, it's time for The Bridge, and we've got you covered. We're helping businesses reach their goals today. We'll hear from one business owner who shares the secrets to her success. So get ready. The Bridge starts now. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to The Bridge. I'm WSAV's Natalie Hendricks. As you know, we've taken the bridge from the studio to the streets. You know, this week is National Small Business Week. You know, when you think about it, it really is amazing at how many people actually start their own business only to have it fail. You know, many times it's not that they don't have a head for business. Sometimes they just need a little help focusing on certain areas. Well, Bernadette Harris, she is a small business owner herself, and she's written a book that she hopes will help others succeed just like her. It's called Business Blueprint 2.0, and Bernadette Harris, who is an accountant specializing in detecting fraud in businesses, wants you to know you can be your own boss with the right business plan. Entrepreneurship requires a great deal of discipline because you are your own boss. You don't have anyone saying, where's that report? or what time are you gonna come in. Um, so entrepreneurship is not for the undisciplined. It is definitely not for the lazy. But even more than discipline, Bernadette says the key to running your own successful small business is staying true to who you are and what your vision is. As an entrepreneur, you get to say when and how much. You get to decide how you want to show up. You don't have to be like every other graphic designer. You don't have to be like every other plumber. You can be, you just be you. And those are the things that make you different. Those are the things that will make you, make your clients want to do business with you. Um, so make sure that you show up um, in the effort to help you stay in business. Bernadette came up with a simple way to help you focus and stick to your business plan. And you know I like using acronyms because it helps people to remember um, things. So when we talk about staying in business, um, the S in stay stands for the setup. Are you going to be an LLC? Will you be an INC? Will you operate as a sole proprietorship or will it be an S corporation or a C corporation? These are all things that you have to think about when you get started in your business. And there are some businesses that may start out one way and as the business grows, they may change to something else. And so that is why the setup part is so important. Next is T. So the T in stay stands for the team. So even if you are starting your business on your own, you still need a team. You have to have people on your team that are going to help you win, help you stay in business. So you need a good accountant, you need a good attorney, you may need a, you may need a coach. Bernadette says your team is not only who you deal with in business, but also those closest to you. You need to make sure if you're married, your spouse kind of needs to be on board because if, if he or she is not, that's going to cause problems. Your kids need to understand that mommy or daddy has to work a little bit extra right now. The next letter is A and that stands for accountant. If you are to be successful in business, to stay in business, you need to know your business, you need to know your numbers. And if you don't have an accounting system in place, you don't know your numbers. Um, so you can't stay in business. And finally, why? So the why in stay is, it stands for you. And this is, this means that you need to be you in your business. There's no one else that you can be but yourself. There are lots of great accountants out there, but there's only one Bernadette L. Harris. There's no one that can do it like me. I show up for my clients in a way that that other accountants don't, and they have their own way of showing up. One thing Bernadette says you should not be afraid of when you start your own business is to make mistakes, but you should learn from them. Something she felt so strongly about, she included it in her book. I wrote the book because I have kept seeing people make the same mistakes over and over again. I want to see businesses succeed. I want to see businesses um, um, not fail uh, because small business is a huge part of our economy. We need small businesses. We need small businesses to stay in business. 